The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Pattern for Children and Youth And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. Luke 2.40 Jesus is our example. It is in his home life that he is the pattern for all children and youth. His mother was his first human teacher. From her lips and from the scrolls of the prophets, he learned of heavenly things. His intimate acquaintance with the scriptures shows how diligently his early years were given to the study of God's word. From his earliest years, he was possessed of one purpose. He lived to bless others. In his youth, he worked with his father at the carpenter's trade. From his childhood, he was a pattern of obedience and industry. He was as a pleasant sunbeam in the home circle. Faithfully and cheerfully, he acted his part, doing the humble duties that he was called to do in his lowly life. The life of Christ was humble, free from affectation or display. He lived mostly in the open air, the birds, the natural flowers that decked the fields with their glowing beauty, the majestic trees and lofty mountains, the ragged rocks and perpetual hills, all had special charms for him. Secluded from every human eye, he communed with his heavenly father. His moral powers were strengthened by his meditation and communion with God. It is the precious privilege of parents to cooperate in teaching the children how to drink in the gladness of Christ's life by learning to follow his example. The Saviour's early years were useful years. He was his mother's helper in the home, and he was just as verily fulfilling his commission when performing the duties of the home and working at the carpenter's bench as when he engaged in his public work of ministry. Every youth who follows Christ's example of faithfulness and obedience in his lowly home may claim those words spoken of him by the Father through the Holy Spirit. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth.